Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to get back your missing network adapter from your device manager in Windows 11. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. First thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up the search icon, type in CMD, best result should come back with command prompt, go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter in the keyboard. It should say Windows IP configuration. Successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in netsh space winsock. W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset, R-E-S-E-T. Again, N-E-T-S-H space WinSock space reset. Hit enter in the keyboard. So, successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And once that's done, see if your network adapter is visible again. If you're still having a problem, you can try and right click on the Windows Start button and you want to select Settings. Select the Network and Internet option on the left side. And then on the right, you want to scroll down and select where it says Advanced Network Settings. Go ahead and open that up. Versus Network Reset, you can search for this as well in the Start Menu Search, but we're going to go ahead and select Network Reset. This will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Make sure you have your Wi-Fi code nearby because once you restart your computer, you will need to enter back in your network credentials in order to get back online. So with that said, go ahead and select Reset Now. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. And now you will have to save and close out of any open programs and applications within the next five minutes. So go ahead and restart your computer. And hopefully at this point you should be good to go. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.